All right, so the video is coming from, or the recording is coming from my Sony PXW Z90 right now, or my camcorder. And I'm only doing that so you can kind of see the behind the, behind the scenes setup. So you, right now, I've got a Belkin Thunderbolt 3 adapter that has two HDMI outs. One is going to the teleprompter, and the other one is going to this Blackmagic Video Assist. That's my stream deck going in there. So got my stream deck, my capture card, my major capture card, HDMI out and HDMI out. One is going to my teleprompter, one is going to my Blackmagic Video Assist. When you first plug it in, it may extend the displays. So what you want to do, I want to go to System Preferences. When I click on Displays and click on Arrangement, Right now, it is currently all mirrored. I'm going to uncheck this. And it looks like it used my... Let's see if I can move that menu bar here. Okay, good. So I dragged the menu bar from the black magic over to my menu here. And if I click on this, this highlights the red on this display. And when I highlight this, it'll highlight that display. So I know I'm looking at the right one. Uh, this one is really up here versus sideways. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to combine this monitor, which is the teleprompter with the LCD display. So hold down the option key, click on the extended display and drag that on top of the other one. So you'll see both monitors are highlighted. If you let go, now these two are mirrored and this is the extended display. Now let's zoom in on the uh, teleprompter and we'll focus on that setup. Now the challenge is that it's mirrored. So we wanna go into the functions here that's that looks like it's peaking on and off and you'll see that the words are reversed um, let's go to menu uh, let's see there we go menu and let's go to it's kind of hard to read this upside down uh, function aspect DSLR peaking exposure level image flip okay so then I want to select that go to image flip and nope that's not it that's horizontal and vertical that's horizontal and that's vertical and that's what we want so let's exit all right so we've got that set up I'm getting cut off at the top here because this is not this is designed for an iPad all right, so I'm using my flashlight here. You can see that there's a foam insert here. I'm gonna take this out. Ah, that's better. I'll probably have to jerry rig away to kind of keep that from shifting around. I got my HDMI and my power cable coming out the back. There we go. And then you can see my lens right right there. Okay, all right, that looks better. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch back over to Ecamm. Oh yeah, the resolution is much higher on this one. So uh, before my, my screen, it was a little more compact. So under output on the video monitor, I want to select the Blackmagic Video Design. And audio, I also want it to be, uh, which is my display port coming out of the, I don't want to move that too much, out of my, I should really put that in a more secure location. My Belkin adapter, it's a Thunderbolt 3. I highly recommend that you use a Thunderbolt 3 because uh, versus a USB-C because it has higher bandwidth and uh, it doesn't get as hot as my USB-C adapter. 
All right, let's switch back over to this camera. So now when I use this with Zoom, let's see if I have a Zoom call in here. I think I do. Let's go to my recordings. All right, so instead of looking down at the camera, normally I would be looking down at my laptop like this and then you'll just see like the tops of my eye and my big forehead here. But if I switch over this view, now you can see that since the laptop is mirrored here, the person's face is viewing right in front of the camera. So if you can see uh, my teleprompter, I've got the split lens here and there's Photoshop. If I hide Photoshop, that's the benefit of the split screen because I don't see my lens like this, but I see the person that I'm talking to.